What's up guys, Mischief Mag is here. Um, I wanted to do this a little later, but since it's Sunday and it's about that time, I wanted to do my son invocation for all to see. Now, uh, I'm certain that I'm going to be ruining some like rules or something about like not showing people how you actually do it. But um, I figured that I should at least show you what I do and what I'm about. Um, just to get you a basic idea, you make an altar, you set it up for the planet once you learn the basics of what the planet is, what it rules, and what it represents, and then you worship it. Now, there are things that you need to say before you actually, you know, pretend that you're doing something, um, but I'll give you a quick one rundown, and um, basically the entire thing is based off of this bad boy right here. I know I showed you this before, but this is him. This is the sun talisman that I have. Now, you probably have different ones. I don't know. Um, just give you a quick rundown. Six candles. The number of the sun is six. This is a picture of the sun made by... Crap, I can't remember his name right now. Nigel Jackson. Look him up. Um, it's a king sitting on literally the sun with a crow, if you care to see. At the top, there are divine letters, and at the bottom, I really don't know what that means. Anyway, that's the picture of the sun. You should meditate it on it when you are doing this. Then I have a small lion made out of stone and some gold. <laughs> Literally, it's gold. No, it's not out of the little wrappings. It's like a small, it's just a $20 piece of gold, but it is actual gold. And of course, if we are well versed in astrology and traditional planetary magic, we will know that the metal of the sun is gold. As I had mentioned, we have the six candles. Six being the number of the sun per Agrippa. This is tin. I really don't need it for the sun, but I made it in the glyph of the sun. I do that for Mercury and Jupiter, so why not? Wanted to be inclusive. Might not be a good idea. Whatever. Over here we have... I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, my hand's a little shaky. That's Peridot. I have six Peridot, six Citrine, all about. I don't, sometimes I'll put them in different positions, sometimes not. This is Frankincense. That's the incense of the sun. There's other ones. This is Chamomile tea. Chamomile being a plant ruled by the sun per Culpepper, who is a famous now dead doctor who used astrology and herbs to cure people. This is um, just some oil. It's literally just called bliss. Um, you can't really see it. it. You know, it. to be honest with you guys, I'm not going to say, oh, the sun rules bliss flavored incense. It doesn't. I don't think that it's kind of a precise, um, you know, oil for it. But my God, if you've ever been to Longwood Gardens or anything, it smells like you're dipping your face in a pot full of fresh, vital flowers. Like when I s take a nice big whiff of it, I'm like, whoa, it just smells like you're in a garden. And of course, the sun being the giver of life in our solar system makes a little bit of sense to me. Plus, the sun is naturally happy. The rest of this stuff is, I mean, it's kind of off uses over there. You don't really need it. This wand I got off of Etsy. Um, I'm not a psychopath. I. You know, I, I never really expected to have bought a wand, but uh, this is made out of ash and oak wood. Uh, if you see, there's oak and ash, different colors. Split down the middle, made by uh, a really talented wand maker. And um, I made that because ash is a tree ruled by the sun, and oak is a tree ruled by Jupiter. At the time, I only had my sun and my Jupiter talisman, which is over there sitting with the Mercury talisman. Both are not made by me, um, made by much smarter, more clever, more intelligent, and experienced people than I am. That being said, this is my altar, and this is what I use. You will see it in the next video, and I hope you enjoy. Just for the record, I think this stuff is as correct as I can get. I'm sure that there are people far more experienced than I am that are laughing and scoffing at this video as we speak, but this is how I do it, and I, I don't know it's the best I got. Um, so it's a, just to give you an idea of what I do with it and um, what to expect. 
All right, next video, guys, I'm going to be doing the actual sun ritual, which will be just about two minutes away from this one. All right, hope to see you there.